Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I really should post more often, but we're here today and it's Christmas morning and we're back for the annual Christmas haul, 2023 style. Also in Canada style, usually we're in Florida, but I was like, you know what guys? We haven't been back in like three years. So let's switch it up and let's be here. So here we are. I'm going to kind of go through everything I got for Christmas this morning. Why is the music on? I just want to begin by saying I am very grateful and very blessed for everything that I was Riz. Riz? Riz, that's what I just said. Turn off the music. No one's in my kitchen. Why is it playing? I wanted to begin by saying that I am so grateful and so blessed for everything that I was given this Christmas and I'm not trying to brag or show off in any way, shape or form. This is just genuinely very highly requested and I love doing it and it's fun. I love watching them myself. So I'm sure you guys will enjoy. The first thing we're gonna do is start with the stocking. That is not a real fireplace, by the way. The real fireplace is right there. All right, so here's my stocking. It's a little different than the one I have in Florida, but we're gonna start off. Outside of my stocking was this, the Hunger Games Ultimate Collector's Edition Guide, which is kind of funny because I actually really wasn't into them before this glorious movie, because look at that face. Heart, heart. Anyways, um, that's kind of what got me into it more so, but uh, this would be a really good read. I'm really excited. The second Hunger Games related item that was in my stocking was this. Was this <laughs> the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes? Obviously, you saw the movie. It was fire. I um, saw it four times, I believe. Probably will go back again. Who knows? I'm really excited to read the book. We're leaving for Florida tomorrow, so this will be a really good read for the plane. This. Oh no. Mm. We got a little card. Jerry and Jacqueline. It's usually just with Jacqueline. Jacqueline does most of the work, guys. Jerry's also along for the ride. Don't worry. All right. The first two things that I pulled out of my stocking were two hand sanitizers. If you know me, I really like hand sanitizer and these two smell really, really good. Let's use, I use this one earlier. Let's use Winterberry Ice. Mm, let's try it out. Ooh, it's pink. Let's see here. If it's worth the hype. That was a lot all at once. It's really good though. I like them both. They're really nice. Just uh, don't smell right away. Okay, we have some Sephora blending sponge set. Yep, that's that. This, I'm very excited about this because I've actually never tried the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter or blush or contour or anything, but Jacqueline Smith sent me up this year. We have the highlighter and, oh, sorry, yourself. The highlighter and, what the heck is this? A blush. I don't know why my brain isn't working. Highlighter and a blush, a little duo set. Some claw clips. You never have too many claw clips. Gorgeous. Um, and Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. Again, never used this before. So excited to try it out. Also, shout out to my nail guy, Brandon. You slayed my life again with these. Look how pretty. Jerry, you wanna come say hi? Oh. Another Charlotte Tilbury set. Honestly, a slay. We have a mini size pillow talk, a full size pillow talk. What? A lipstick, a crayon, and a lip plumping effect. All in this little set. I was like, girl, Jacqueline, what happened? Why were you in the Charlotte Tilbury section for so long? Also some peace out acne day and night dots. These aren't my favorite pimple patch, but they're not so bad. Like I actually like them, they're not bad. Sometimes they just leave a circle on my face. Does, it, does that happen to anyone else? The last thing in my stocking was the Rare Beauty Lip Oil. Again, another thing I've never tried before. Really, really want to try. It looks really pretty. I have stuff on my lips right now, but we will be trying this. That's everything for my stocking. All right, now we're going to get into the actual physical gifts I was given. I was given some stuff from my grandparents last night. Um, I didn't bring it down here with me, but it was like, Three shirts from Garage, a blanket, a little gnome stuffed animal, some chocolates. What else was there? I'm slouching so bad right now, Jacqueline would be yelling at me, but I want to fit in the frame. Oh, I still fit in the frame. Excuses. It's fine. Um, what else did they get me? Why am I forgetting? Uh, pajamas and pajamas, which is a classic. She always gets me pajamas. One of my Christmas gifts that I don't physically have with me right now is tickets to go see Tate McRae in New York. This summer, I'll be there going to school, so it's very convenient. I can just 
trot along to Madison Square Garden and go see that. And my best friend Natalie's coming with me, so I'm so excited. So yes, Tate McRae, queen of life, love you. Must you run the water right now? Love y'all. <laughs> Too many J's. Jacqueline wants to have hot chocolate with me. That's personally what she said when I was opening this gift. So this is like a really cute, like old fashioned, like little hot chocolate thing. And then she got me two of these mugs. Look how cute these are. This is so cute. Like this, double fisting, love it. Okay, anyways, um, that's that for that. Literally thought it was so cute. I also thought I was low key gonna break it when I was opening it up, but we're good. It's fine. Oh, I did it again. I did just drop my phone. If this is not the same that it was a few seconds ago, well, I'm sorry, but we gotta do what we gotta do. This gift I actually found really funny. Jacqueline thought, why not give it to Jessica for Christmas? So we have the Moroccan oil conditioner. You gonna like say hi or what are you doing? The owner's manual. My conditioner and my shampoo. You could literally kill someone with these. They're so heavy, but I love them. They make your hair smell like heaven. All right, the next thing that I got was these really cute, um, what is this? Rudolph Rando's reindeer ornaments. I think they're really cute. I was like, this is so sweet. I love Rudolph Rando's reindeer. We have the collectible little stuffies underneath it. You cannot see that. Um, we also have the stuffed animals of these. That's what I was trying to say. Some Ariana Grande little vibes. So we have a God is a the God is a woman scent fragrance, but in hand and body cream, body oil, and little mini perfume. And then also another one of the big perfumes. The next thing I got was some more makeup brushes. It actually comes in this like rolled up little set thing. I actually really like it. And those are all the ones you get. This is always great because I'm really bad at washing my makeup brushes and I've had some of them for a while. So maybe it's time for like a little reboot, you know, right? If you know me, I usually have a portable charger most of the time and I did have one. It was like flat and it was long. If anybody has seen it, it's like an anchor, I think is the brand like A-N-K-E-R. It's completely gone. I have looked everywhere. I have asked everyone and I simply just cannot find it. Don't know where it is. I have not seen it in like two months. So they got me a new one, a new power bank. It seems pretty heavy duty. I feel like it'll really be really good. I feel like it'll pull through. It's a little heavy. I'm a Sol de Janeiro fan. I actually honestly love them all. 62 is not my fave. It used to be, but now it's like going downhill as I've discovered the other ones. But this set is gorgeous because I can use all of them because I love each of them. They're all different. This is a really fire gift set. So whoever created this, thank you. All right, I apologize if the next part gets a little boring. Um, Jerry and Jacqueline really thought, let's buy the entire Gymshark store. And I'm not hallucinating when I say that. I've never seen this much Gymshark in one quantity at one time. Like I quite literally was like, they're asking me what I wanted for Christmas. And I think I said like, oh, I like Gymshark shorts. That was all I said, but we have the whole store. So let me get into that. To start us off, this is actually one of my faves that they got of the multiple Gymshark things. Um, now guys, this isn't a hint. They're not trying to tell me to go to the gym, but they were like, oh, well, you're gonna be when you're like going to class in New York and you have all the dance stuff, you're gonna need like different stuff to wear and they don't think I'm gonna do the laundry. So it's like, just get me a million clothes. So I'll be set, you know, which is actually kind of cool. I like it. Anyways, you're making fun of me talking. So this first, this is cool. Jerry said, did you pick this out? This one, the set with the bra and the leggings? Yes, this one actually really was one of my faves. So it's got like this, I don't know what this is, like snake animal print. This is the sports bra. And then it comes with the matching leggings. Literally love this. As you know me, I actually kind of like, I like neutral patterns, like plain patterns. And to me, this is fire. So definitely one of my faves for sure. Next in the Gymshark era, I think there's five sports bras in here. Um, I will never need to buy another sports bra in my life, I'm, I'm guessing. So we have this one, which is like, I guess it's like sports bra top-ish, cause it's longer. It's this like brownish greenish color. Love this, honestly so nice. We have this brown sports bra, kind of similar to one I already have, but a little different, all good. We have this, I love this one. It goes like, it's like a right around, you know? And it's got this writing. Gymshark, established in 12, designed in the UK. That I did not know, kind of cool to know. 
And then these two mesh ones, so there's like mesh here, mesh, mesh, and then white. Mesh, mesh. Gorgeous, again, never gonna need a single um, sports bra for the rest of my life. Next up, we have some leggings. We actually have four pairs of, ooh, oh, I almost fell. We have four pairs of leggings. So first we have, these ones are, I don't own any of these. These are the everyday V waistband legging. Love a V waistband. These ones are green. I don't know, that probably looks gray on camera, but they're like green, um, olive, olive green. That's the color I was looking for. They're, they're olive green, kind of living for this, honestly. These ones I have a few of. I think they're the Vital Seamless. Yeah, they're the Vital Seamless. Really cool, like brownie coppery color, super nice two like more fun colors we have this like bluish grayish vibe again vital seamless love you'll never have to buy me another gymshark item for the rest of your life and then these ones that are like a tealy oceany blue with a really cool like waistband i actually really like them there's those vibes so iconic next up we have some shorts from gymshark again another pair i don't own this i actually have nothing like this to be honest they honestly are giving tate mccray you know how she wears like those bigger oversized shorts well this is what these are giving and i feel like they'll actually be really comfortable to wear like when i have to do physical activity so i'm actually really excited these ones are just they're plain black they're super loose there's no another thing i like there's no lining a lot of shorts like this have that lining and it's like, no, not always. These do not have it. So I have them in black and in this like dark, dark green, which are actually really cool. Again, giving Tate McRae music video vibes, which I'm here for at this point. These are more shorts. These are more shorts. I love shorts. So more Gymshark. Again, I'm still on the Gymshark grind here. We've got these browned, vi browned, browned Vital Seamless. Love this, do not have brown shorts. So I really, really like those. And then we have these black Gymshark shorts with this waistband, which is fire because I have a sports bra with the same waistband. They must have just looked at my closet. And some plain black ones. I do not own plain black Gymshark shorts. So those are lovely, a great classic to have. Cornstarch? No, not me. Not me, no, I'm certainly hoping I don't need cornstarch. For the final two Gymshark items, yes, we've come to the end of our Gymshark. So we have, this is super cool. I really like this. It's a legacy wash long sleeve top. Super good for like chilling, going out, doing whatever. It's got that, and then it's got the pattern down the side of the arm, and it's got like that black like washed look. Super cool, super nice to lounge in, throw it over your, your wear. I really like it. And also these plain black leggings. They're the everyday contour legging. Again, another, a legging I've never worn, but I'm willing, obviously. Look how exciting, beautiful, gorgeous. And they've got like the little, little contour there at the back. Super nice. As I said, we've come to the end of the Gymshark section, but that is okay because now we're entering the Lulu section. So let's start with, I like this, I think. So I like the color brown lately. I just don't know why my hair went back to brown. Brown is just like a cute color. It's like a neutral, it's nice. So this I really like. I got this, there's a few things going on here. What are these? Oh, I actually lied. We are still in the Gymshark era. We have brown Gymshark leggings. I actually forgot. They were in a Lululemon box, but we also have some brown everyday contour leggings. Thank you, Gymshark. Now it is actually over. Before the Lulu, this is really cool. I've actually never seen this before. It is a shoulder cutout yoga long sleeve. We're talking about food if you're wondering. Okay, I've heard of this before, but I'm actually really excited. It's really hard to show because it's got these like cutouts in the shoulders, but it's like this. This, oh, cool, eh? I've never seen it. And I feel like it's really pretty because you can dress it up or dress it down. Like you can go to a yoga class in this or you can wear this on a night out on the town. You know what I'm saying? And I like that we're having a little bit of 
versatility. It's very cute. And this, I love. I love the Dance Studio joggers, the long ones. And I got the... I got the Dance Studio joggers in brown. Gorgeous, beautiful, faves. So you could wear that with the top. You could wear that with a white top, black top. You can do whatever, and I love that. I really do. Next item from Lululemon. Again, two things of the same color. Could wear it as a set, or could totally just do it without. It is the, I've really been enjoying the Swiftly's cropped, the long sleeves. Look at this cute purple color. Excellent. Love it, beautiful. And also these, I think the color is magenta. Sure. Also, mini flares in this color. Literally loving, living loving. I've loved the mini flares. We're obviously gonna have to get these taken in a little bit. Not taken in, uh, shortened because I'm not very tall, but literally love them. I have mini flares in like a light brown, a blue, and now this. So I'm very, very excited. And we're coming up on the last two items, everybody. It is a scuba, not like the cropped scuba, but on the scuba, the full zip ones. I have this in like pink, but it's getting a little tight. And I really like this like light blue color, light marl, I think is what they call it. So there's that buddy, love it. And my final gift, because Uggs just seem to be the trending factor this season. And I love brown as we've been talking about the brown mini Uggs, not ultra minis, but minis. And here they are. Gorgeous, love it. Cute, neutral vibes. That is everything. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching this Christmas haul and for coming back to my channel after I haven't posted in years. I do have some exciting news to share though. I believe, don't hold me to it, but I'm going to try to do a Florida vlog. Like it's not gonna be, every day, like I'm not gonna do a vlog every single day, but I'm gonna try to do like a trip vlog because my best friend Emily is gonna be down there and there's gonna be a little bit of shenanigans and New Year's stuff. So I'm like, why not? Plus my birthday, I'm gonna be turning 19 down there. So I don't really know what's gonna go on though because I can't drink down there, but it's fine. Kind of thought, let's just do a little vlog and throw that stuff together because I feel like vlogs are also really fun to watch. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe because this is YouTube and why not? And just thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you all had a great Christmas. And we'll be back next year for the same thing. Peace, guys. Love you.